Hi, I'm Jean Ashton. This is my website in case you need to locate the content through my website. And so there's that. But what I've done is write a film critique. I was published in a San Diego art rag uh, some years ago. And um, I'm going to go ahead. I was published by, let's see, Hourglass Magazine. Now, this is Razier Rouchon's publication. I'll be also interviewing her because she's become an art advocate and runs some of the, um, you know, runs through the chalk fest circuit through the whole nation. Very interesting woman. She'll be in second season. Keep an eye out for that. But this was published in her magazine. And this was the digital art theme, which you see here. And my article is, is it live or is it Memorex? And I'll go ahead and put up the image here. Let's see, Hourglass image is digital. So here we go. Is it live or is Memorex? Don't know, don't care. It looks great on film, pass the popcorn. In this age of filmmaking, digital art is an integral part of the movie making industry, stretching film budgets far beyond their original borders. Let me pose a quick question. Need a cast of thousands? Film a thousand extras in the foreground, then cannibalize the crowd and multiply and mat it via green screen into the background as in the flags of our fathers. This issue's film pick is Ultraviolet, a variation on the underground comic book, Armageddon story of an Aeon, Flux, or the Matrix-style character. Now, Ultraviolet is the film's femme fatale hero who unwittingly transports a bioweapon inside a flat suitcase in the form of a real live child that is destined to be unleashed upon a race of engineered vampire hybrids of the human race. I know it's a lot. A very good movie, though. Fun storyline. There is a dark twist at the end of the second act, which forces a harsh revelation during the third conclusive act. Now, worth seeing on the digital mastery of the set design character manipulation and action alone, yet it's a high-octane movie thick with entertainment value and eye candy. Now, the story's impact does hang off the suspension of disbelief, of course. That's believing that the story is real life rather than a film due to its digital ability to mimic life, yet making it one-click better. Uh, these high-end production value sci-fi films or eggs were born out of the digital mastery, The Chicken, <laughs> creating a new litmus test for any sci-fi films to come. Digital no. art has electronically integrated itself neatly into the construct of film production, a natural progression of the arts. Now, the abstract and pop artists, the Dadas and the Surrealists, knew this almost a century ago. Pablo Picasso, Andy Warhol, Jean Renoir, all filmmakers knew that film is an accumulation of all the arts, two dimensions or painting set design or three dimensions or sculptures uh, which are actors moving through a uh, filmic dimension and time. Now all the visual arts use the same design principles. It's the application of those principles that differentiate one art form from another. Now um, digital art like film is built upon all the other arts. It's a dependency born of the synergistic nature of art which is not elitist or exclusionary as it won't be restrained. It mesmerizes with realistic or over-the-top visuals, all to please the ever-discriminating eye of the moviegoer while bringing attention to the voice of the artist. You guys as film goers know how picky you're getting, and I'm right behind you there. Now, in conclusion, digital art shouldn't take the place of the story, although it can do to director burnout as the story gets lost in film construct or any other variation of film production trauma. George Lucas's third Star Wars sequel had this problem, it was still a good film and I still enjoyed it. Now filmmaking is tough and you can't be perfect every time out. Digital art will also be called illegitimate child of fine art. So don't throw out the film for its dependence on digital art. It is the brainchild of the electronic age. It does as film does by using everything it can to get its hands on to make the story come alive. There's no stopping that train as it streams full speed ahead into the new digital horizon. empowerment through